Welcome back to Baruto Anime Review, episode 131. This one viewing the 132nd episode of Baruto Naruto Next Generation's Jiraiya's Assignment. Yep, this episode starts off with Naruto and Baruto, well, the young Naruto, meeting up at the training place, basically, because it was mentioned that they had to do some training and do early in the morning. And of course, he's battling for a bit, and then, of course, well, then we have Jiraiya shows up. Basically, we have to practice like Sega Knights in the Chakra. So they tried it with Naruto on the bottom and Baruto's injured hand on top. This lasts for a good period of time. Apparently, they can't exactly get, make up. Uh, this lasts for a good while. And then, of course, well, Jiraiya mentions to ba Naruto that Baruto knows Rasengan. He's like, huh? Who taught you that? Like, He's like, I can't tell you. Like, okay, so, they eventually decided to just, well, use a ball from the training, and, and of course, well, Baruto's pick up stuff a lot better than freaking Naruto, and I kind of know I was why, I was wondering myself, like, man, is it just me, or is that Baruto somewhat of a, is actually pretty smart for a ninja, yeah, he's pretty smart, so, they used the ball for a little while, of course, Baruto was revealed to be sort of traumatized, what happened in the last episode with the with the nine tails? I think it was a good move. So he goes, walks off, he cools his head off, and well, he, of course, Naruto just lays there and he wants raining, and of course, he just happens to be walking by the Hugo compound, where he sees his a young version of his mother and and, and Neji, his mother being Hanada, training. Yes, this is actually referenced during the events of Shippuden. So this is a bit of a basically a a, clip, a snippet of that, because it was mentioned, I believe, it was during, like, during the events of, dur during the early years of Shippuden, that apparently, like, during a flashback, that had not have been training, like, during the time scheme. This is sort of a snippet of that, of her training with Neji. Mm -hmm. And, of course, while well, her calling her him Big Brother Neji, and him refers to her as Lady Hanada. Yep. And it's a pretty good training. Of course, he mentions he's getting stronger. And, and then, of course, well, like, right after that, of course, Baruto watches the whole thing. Of course, he tries to slip away, but Neji catches him. And then they have a brief conversation for, where he talks about the events of the first tuning exam during the second, I believe, his fight. The mention what happened during the third season of the show, during the second season, I think it was the third season of the show, when they had the third round of the tuning exams. You know, when, uh, when they had Naruto fight frickin' Neji. Yeah, this happened during season three. And then, of course, well, while this is going on, we have Sasuke meet up, uh, have uh, uh, Jiraiya meet up with S Sasuke to deliver bar Naruto some food. And then, of course, well, they had these two meet and of course, well, Naruto references the events of the first battle in Final Valley between him and Sasuke. Sasuke references the events of the second battle between the two of them in Final Valley that happened at the end of Season 20. In the case of the first round, that happened toward the end of Season 4 of the original show. Mm -hmm. Actually, it happened like partway into Season 4. That's when the fight happened. Yep. Excuse me. I'm actually, about halfway through. And they basically get along really well. Of course, he's asked what his name is. Like, I can't remember his name. And, well, in the case of Baruto, he can't tell Neji his name because he's actually kind of named after Neji. Yep. And then, of course, well, after and then Sasuke's walking about the film, like, you see Sakura in the episode. Yep, she's just walking around. It's like, man, she's like, I'm so exhausted. Lady's nice. Oh, it's so strict. They wanted to take up training with her. And then she just turns in the corner and just happened to bump into Sasuke. No, this is the future Sasuke. And he says, sorry. And he accidentally drops something from his pocket. What the heck it is, I suspect it's probably the picture of him, Sakura, and Sadara from the future. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> yeah, and then of course, well, then he meets up with Jiraiya a little bit later. He says, and of course he feels that he knows he's Sasuke Uchiha. And something is, and that's where the episode ends. Like, very interesting note. The fact it ended on this. 
like, wow, we're getting some people finding out who who he is. And, well, he's not the same as from the past. No, he's from the future. Yep. But this overall is a really good episode, and I can't wait for next week. Looks like we get to the training uh, for next week's episode. Plus, Usika is going to show up. In the and apparently, Sakura is going to come to the training area. Probably to confront... Probably to confront... Probably to, to confront Sakura over, the, over what she saw. Probably the picture of the family. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. That was a picture of basically the family. That he just had to keep in his pocket. It's a good thing they didn't bring out his freaking cell phone. Because they didn't have cell phones at this point in time. No, not that I can think of no. But this overall is a really good episode. I can't wait for next week's episode. Okay? So yeah, that, that's this particular view. My next view is going to be a movie review on the second to la the third to last film of the Phase 2 MCU Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay? See you next view. Bye.